Uh, so I'm, um, I'm head of delivery for MYOB, so I look after uh, products across uh, our enterprise and our practice solutions space across New Zealand and Australia. So what I thought I'd just quickly talk a bit about today was MYOB, to tell you a little bit about us, because everyone's heard the name, but you may not know actually what we do. Uh, talk a little bit about um, uh, Green Tree that we acquired, we've got some of the Green Tree team over, over here, so feel free to come and talk to them at the break. Uh, and then just a little bit about what we're doing with Jade and what's important to us. Um, and I have to say what I've heard today has been um, really refreshing for me and some stuff that we're pretty excited to see coming into the product, so. Wrong way, get this way. Um, so this is all last year's data. I just thought I'd tell you a little bit about us because it all got updated today because we just released our new financial results um, about two hours ago, three hours ago. Um, but like MYOB, we build um, software for small businesses and for accountants in practice uh, in New Zealand and Australia. All right, so that's everything from sole traders who have their accountants run their accounts for them um, right through to um, uh, the example would be every uh, supermarket in New Zealand that you go into, the person who works there is paid by an MYB product. We pay actually one, a third of um, all employees in New Zealand through one of our products. I think we have 18 payroll products that we look after. Um, about 328 million, actually as of today, that's about 370 million of um, annual revenue that we um, in the business. Uh, we invested, I think, 56 million dollars uh, in the last 12 months in R&D. So our development team is about 400 people at the moment across New Zealand and Australia. About 1,300 employees and about 1.2 million customers across our base. So, fairly broad um, spectrum of uh, customers as well. As I said, going from single uh, organisations up to employees of 25,000 employees. Let's have a little bit about where we are. Um, bulk of our team is actually based out of Melbourne. Uh, we've just opened up a technology centre of about 250 um, people in product development based out of Richmond in the city of Melbourne and the rest of the team is out in the eastern suburbs of Melbourne. Um, and quite a big investment as well in New Zealand, as you can see. So we've got almost 200 people in, um, in Christchurch, and um, about 150, that's closer to 200 now, uh, working in our uh, Mount Eden offices. So Green Tree. So Green Tree's been around for a long time. So um, they've been to these forums before, and I'm sure you've met some of the Green Tree team. So Green Tree is a what we would call a tier two ERP solution. So it's, it's targeted at, um, at the larger size organization, probably uh, five to $10 million of turnover, uh, somewhere in the region of 20 plus employees would be in that sort of a size organization. And the whole thing's built in Jade. Um, Heritage of Green Tree actually goes back uh, a lot, a lot of years. The, the heritage goes back to Cal and Bowman Associates, um, where they, the original system they wrote back in the 80s, and showing my age here, I worked for them at one point back in the 80s. Um, it's been a bit of a cycle for me coming back into working with Green Tree. Um, and, and that um, organization's just grown over the years. And uh, the Green Tree product, uh, it's some of the region 15, 20 years of development has gone into this product. Um, and uh, and it's an awesome product. And one of the things that we had as an organization, as I said, I, I predominantly look after our enterprise products. And we had a gap in that higher two, tier two space that, um, that we weren't able to address with our products. And so we looked around at what was the best product out there. What was a, a, an organization that had great partners, great customers, had an awesome development team, an awesome team, in fact, a lot of IP. And that's why we um, came across Green Tree. So we actually acquired Green Tree. Uh, in October last year, um, and they've just all come on board, and this year they're, they're actually part of our team in Mount Eden. Just last little bit about MYOB as well. This just shows the, the range of products that, um, that we actually have, and some of you may have used them. Actually, I think talking to some people today, they're using some of our products, and of course, trying to convince uh, Jade to use uh, one of our products as well. But um, <laughs> so right down from what we would call do it for me. Um, which is where your accountant actually would run your accounts for you. Um, and then you know, Essentials and Account Right. Account Right's our product that's been around for close to 25 years. Um, it's most people, when they think of MYOB, it's actually the product they think of. It's a, it was originally a desktop product. It's now a, what we call a hybrid product. So um, all the data lives up in the cloud. Everything gets integrated through cloud services. And I'll talk a little bit about more, uh, uh, more about those in a moment. Everything's integrated in the cloud but you've got this rich application that actually sits on your desktop. Um, and so you have all the power of a desktop application, but you also have all the power of having something sitting up in the cloud as well. 
Um, and then what most people don't realise, as I said, is we actually deal with which much larger businesses as well, so EXO and Vance during those larger size businesses. And then you can see where Green Tree has, kind of, has come into play. All right, so it's up in that upper end and, and really works in conjunction with another Christchurch organisation, uh, Pay Global, which has also been around for a long time. We acquired Pay Global probably about 18 months ago, maybe two years ago. Um, and, uh, and Pay Global is the payroll solution which drives foodstuffs and progressive enterprises in New Zealand. So that's why I said every supermarket is paid through, um, through Pay Global. And they're sort of ranging, as I said, uh, from the size of the employee and, and the size of the business as we grow up. So, so that's just a little bit about MYOB. Um, one of the things that's, uh, so today was kind of, uh, as I said, quite encouraging. So I'm hearing um, things which kind of excite me about where Jade is going. So we, when we started looking at Green Tree last year, there was some, definitely some parts of, uh, of what had been built that we knew we were going to have to do some work on. There were some challenges around the development process and, and how we manage um, code. There were some challenges around the UI elements. There's, um, challenges around how we really wanted to in, in bring that product into the fold with MYOB. And so hearing stuff that uh, you know, John and um, uh, Ben were talking about this morning um, is things that we've been talking about that we're excited about. So here's a little bit about what we're doing from a, I guess from a technology perspective and we were taking Jade and then I'll just cover off a little bit about some of our roadmap as well. So I can tell you, hearing about the UI this morning and the skinning, is, um, is awesome because when we go out to visit our um, customers, the feedback we get from our partners, I should say, is that one of the biggest barriers that they have to selling the Green Tree product is the UI. People look at it and, as Gray was saying, Windows 3.11, that's the feedback we get from them. And, um, uh, and so we started a, a fairly large journey of moving a lot of the Green Tree product into the web. But the reality is there's so much functionality that's still sitting on the desktop. And um, ERP solutions, if you haven't used them, are big, complex, hard to use beasts. They do so much for you, but they take a lot for you to do that. And so if you've got a clunky interface or an old looking interface, it's very difficult to use. And, um, and just adding some modernization to that um, is just gonna help in the sales process. It helps with the whole, how people feel about the product. And we actually went out and talked to some customers. We showed them some of the screenshots that came out of um, what was demonstrated last year. Uh, and just the feedback from our partner was like, yes, that's what we want. We want to see that. So, uh, so you know, the team are about to start looking at how do we now take on 2016, how we're going to start to use these skins. And um, we've got a pretty good design team in Melbourne. So um, I'm sure we'll be in contact with Jade and getting them to start updating them what looks like a lot of images for us to get that skinning done, but that's something that's pretty important for us to do. The other area that, um, as I said, is, is pretty important to MYOB is that whole move to the cloud. Everything we are doing is going towards uh, cloud. Um, at the moment, we have somewhere in the region of, uh, I think from the stats today, it's about half a million people actually using cloud products within our uh, ecosystem at the moment. And, um, and so we want to open up all of our products to be able to be used both in the cloud, but also to be able to connect to all the, sy all the systems either on-premise or in the cloud. And there's a strategy called um, MYOB API, and it really kicked off with what we've been doing with our account right product, where we started to define a lot of common APIs that would allow us to access functionality in our system. And the concept is what we call a connected app. So you're not actually building on top of the platform, but you're building uh, applications that connect into the, um, to the core product, provide additional functionality or extend it out in some way without actually needing to actually touch that app. So APIs is the solution to do that. And the sort of um, examples, probably the best example of that is our bank feeds uh, solution. So another acquisition, MYB acquires quite a lot of businesses uh, over its time is we acquired a, a company called Banklink about three or four years ago. And uh, Banklink has the best bank transaction service um, in New Zealand or Australia. And uh, we have a strategy to inc incorporate bank feeds into every product that we have. And I talked about how AccountRight is this hybrid app that has its data sitting up in the cloud. Well, because the data sits in the cloud, we can automatically integrate that with our bank feed service through the APIs that we've got, and the data just automatically gets injected into your accounts. I had a friend of mine who runs a small business who was sitting on one of our very old account right products and I convinced her to upgrade and caught up with her a bit later on and just 
she, she reckons she was saving hours a week because she didn't have to load in or do um, cross-referencing of her bank statements to do all bank reconciliations from that one service. And that's all enabled because we're building APIs into the products. And it's the same thing that we want to build into uh, the Green Tree product and integrate that into Jade. So, you know, the extensions of the web services that's now in Jade is going to allow us to, um, to build out a much richer set of APIs for our customers to extend on. And that also fits down into what we call the NYB platform services. So as we're moving to the cloud, we're building out services that we can utilize across all of our products. Um, you know, I showed on that previous screen that we've got, you know, what's there, seven products listed there. The reality is, I think, there's, uh, so I look after somewhere in the region of 20 to 30 products uh, within the group that I look after. But all of those products are starting to use these platform services that we're building out. So whether it's things like bank fees, um, submitting your tax returns automatically, electronically, uh, whether it's doing uh, logging services, um, uh, doing um, you know, uh, SBR reporting, these are, these are things that form part of our platform services. And so um, taking GreenTree to start to, to utilise those services and, and it will actually allows us to extend the product out without having to have another development team building out those services. We've already built those out. Uh, so major part of our strategy moving forward. Um, the other thing is, as I just talked about, we've, been, we've had a, a journey over the last few years of building out uh, web enablement for Greentree. So web is the way the world is going. Right? Um, although I, I kind of suspect as well as we start to move forward over the next few years, it's going to move towards more of the app model. You know, your iPhones, your Androids, everything you do is just small applets that you use on your desktop. So you know, I think we're going through one of these cycles again where we've gone, we've gone back from client-server to all web-based or server-based and now we're moving back to some sort of hybrid as well and there's some of it. Um, but that ability for somebody to access their data, to do a sale or sales order, um, to, um, to track down a client and get them to pay a, 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 an outstanding debt, and just do all of that on the road from anywhere on, on just about any device is, is part of what we want to build out. And it's part of what um, the Green Tree team have been building out over the last couple of years and actually web enabling our services. So this is just an example of the roadmap that we publish. Um, and this is, we, we talk to our business partners um, about our roadmaps and we publish this out to our, our partners. And so uh, the strategy for us over the rest of this year is really to continue extending out that, way, that web enablement to allow us um, both to, so it really addresses two needs. One is it provides that new interface that some of our customers are, are asking for. We're just producing that in the web, um, yeah, on the web. And then secondly, it allows us to expose that anywhere. So we do a lot of testing on tablet devices. We don't really support smartphones at the moment, we support tablets, um, and actually having those applications available on tablets. And so a lot of work going on with uh, finishing off our sales uh, staff, uh, mobile access piece, digging into field service. Um, you know, people are out there doing service, going out and uh, working with customers directly and being able to, to manage those customers through, um, through service. Um, and then HR as well, particularly for employees. So again, as, a, as an employee, I like to be able to jump on the web, download my pay slips, make sure I've actually been paid and do reconciliations and providing that capability for someone to do that from anywhere is, is, part, of, uh, is, is part of what we're trying to achieve there. Um, and then the other key thing, <coughs> I guess, which is important in an ERP solution and what differentiates, say, um, a tier three or a tier two, a tier two ERP solution from one of the small business accounting products is how you can customize it. So what we find is there's no business that has the same business process as any other business in, the, uh, in those larger size businesses. And so the ability to customize the, uh, the solution that you're using is, is pretty paramount. And that's one of the complexities that we actually have in being able to build out our products, is how do we build them to allow that customization, to allow the, um, the organization to actually extend it. Whether that, you know, it could be as simple as adding some additional data fields, but it could be complete new workflow processes they want to build in. They might want to do something completely different when they complete a sales order or when they go to do a stock lookup. <clears throat> and so you've got to be able to provide that capability both on the desktop, and we do that by allowing our VARs and our ISVs to actually extend out Jade and actually use Jade to extend the product out themselves, um, through to the web where we're looking at how do we actually do that in a way which, um, which they can do directly within the web application. Right. So 
allowing that complete customization or personalization um, as we take that out in the, in the mobile app is, uh, is a big piece of work that we're doing this year. And then just finally, as I've really just talked about, it's really just then, um, you know, we, we acquired Greentree because it's an awesome application and really addresses the needs of, um, of where we want to get to the tier two. And it's really then just enriching that experience and bringing that in with a lot of the other MYOB services that we've got. Um, that's kind of where we're taking things, so. That was it, I just was pretty quick. I was told I had about 10 minutes to, to talk, so I don't know how I did there. Uh, any questions, I guess, from anyone on? Yeah. Sorry, what was that company name? Sorry, I didn't. I missed it. <laughs> <coughs> uh, yeah. It's essentially the same thing. It is. We just do it better. Yeah. yeah. So the key, like, I don't, I don't beg Zero. Zero is a great company, but um, they um, they don't do it as well as us. So we have direct feeds with every bank. Uh, they actually a lot of their stuff comes through a US company called. Uh, Yoli, which is screen scraping, whereas ours is actually direct feeds from every bank. So Zero is actually caught up. They're actually doing a lot of uh, direct with the bank as well. But yes, yeah, the same. Fundamentally, it's the same thing. Uh, data comes in. There's a whole lot of rules that actually matches everything up and auto categorizes and auto matches your bank statements. And like in most cases, it does 90 plus percent of all your allocations for you. Correct. Yeah, and it's not just the development. It's actually the whole. Um, it's the whole operations that you need to actually manage all of that. So it's a big team that actually makes sure that our bank feeds are accurate every day. Um, they start at 4.30 in the morning so that your bank feeds are actually available when you get into the office in the morning. <laughs> <laughs>